Uh, that's as far as I'll go. It's just, but what happened was the naked guys were getting hungry, and so they go into the restaurant. There was no municipal code against public nudity. So the merchants couldn't kick him out. And there's a little restaurant, 24-hour restaurant, Orphan Annie's there, and, and the guy's going, naked people, come on, food, eh, not a match. So the city supervisor wrote a bill, not making this up, if you're naked, you go in a restaurant, you got to bring your own towel to sit on. <laughs> the Arthur Dent solution, I shit you not. <laughs> it was unofficially referred to as the skid marks law. I am not, ma I'm not making this up. And the supervisor who wrote the, the code was Scott Wiener. So it was Wiener skid marks law. And if your name is Wiener and you go into politics like Anthony Wiener, you know, the New York congressman who was tweeting his junk to people and, and they, oh, that's not my junk, you know. <laughs> And thank God his name was Anthony and not Richard, you know, or, <laughs> or Harry. But uh, Tony Wiener. <laughs> Sounds like a snack at a street fair. <laughs> or the cartoon mascot of that film strip they showed us about the reproductive system. Hey, guys, it's Tony Wiener. <laughs> Ready for a ride down the fallopian tube? Put your hard hats on. Let's go. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up here. Uh, <laughs> but if your name is Wiener and you go into politics, you get to choose how other people pronounce your name. He didn't have to go with Wiener. He could have done the boner, boner thing. <laughs> Speaker of the House, John Boehner, has 11 brothers and sisters. They're all boners. <laughs> This is true. He's the only boner in the family. His mother's a boner. His father, well, 12 kids. You do the math. And he could have gone with Weiner, which is still a lousy name for a politician. Apt for a Democrat, perhaps. But Or he could have gone... Could have gone whole hog. I've seen it done in Wisconsin. Yes, we spell it W-E-I-N-E-R, but it's pronounced Schultz. 